Hey folks, it's me and Brian. And before I say what I'm going to have tonight, I'm gonna to talk about blackberry liqueur. So, you wanna know what I did all day? I went to five different liquor stores looking for blackberry liqueur. I already thought I had some. I bought a little mini of this 99 proof brand, Blackberry, what I thought was liqueur. However, after a little bit of research and actually looking at the beverage, it's really not a liqueur. So it says liqueur on the bottling. So the company has taken a little bit of liberty when calling it a liqueur, but it is clear. And if you go to the website, they're actually described as schnapps, which would be in line with their actual appearance and taste. They're clear, so it's just schnapps. And my research has led me to see that schnapps and liqueurs are actually a little bit different. Schnapps are clear, while liqueurs have a little bit of color and it's the fruit that has been combined with a distilled base spirit. So I wanted to be true to form and have my drinks that require blackberry liqueur actually be made with blackberry liqueur, not blackberry schnapps. On my hunt for blackberry liqueur, I didn't find it, but I did find blackberry flavored brandy, which is essentially the same because a liqueur oftentimes is a fruit brandy. So that's what I did all day. And I'm not even gonna use blackberry liqueur today, but I did make the rum runner and I liked it. But I am gonna try it with real blackberry brandy and see if I taste a little different. And plus, I plan on making a bramble later on, which requires a blackberry liqueur or blackberry brandy, especially since the appearance of a bramble is slightly purplish, dark reddish, which I would not create with this blackberry schnapps. But anyway, this is what I'm drinking today. A horse's neck. So let's get to it. So a horse's neck is a pretty simple drink to make. It's cognac combined with ginger ale and garnished with lemon peel. So the most difficult part was making lemon peel right here and I've used one of my big old ice spheres. So you take a shot of cognac Top it with ginger ale, about three to four ounces. Stir gently. And there you have it, a horse's neck. Prost, my friends. It's a pretty awesome drink. You can get really messed up if you have a lot of these because that ginger ale just drowns out the alcohol. It's nice and sweet. Stay safe, folks. Stay sane, folks. And I will see you tomorrow.